Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome you back to like or watch video. Coming up on the channel for the very first time, speaking here is Tlaji Popo. This is my one never like and I will say, I never saw me the king of both of the entire Africa, not the means. So the trend that I have for you today is regarding what is happening in the crystal dome. This update, if you hear about it, you will put your mouth white line. Now keep closer. So if you want to really know what is happening in the crystal dome right now, stay focused to the end of this video. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lachibok Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. The cause of religious gossip. And you boys should leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lachibok. No place when Nigeria go rich, we will not have it there. No country for this world, we will say Nigeria and Google. We will say we know we will have it there. If Nigeria and Rich any country for this world, we will have it there. Where they go, you get this Nigerian man. A lot of people think that maybe now because of say this man they preach. I mean to bring the picture of the man. A lot of people thought maybe it's because this man they preach. Now why police arrest them for UK? But what is inside the person is more deeper than what you guys are saying. This guy, you know, is a preacher. We're not saying be a preacher. But there's no how the Nigeria go reach any country. You see that if Nigeria not spoil the country, they go spoil the policy of the country. They go try to violate something. That thing they that thing did they have blood. I know say, man, I don't be like I don't be I, I don't be Nigerian. I go say I don't be Nigerian. No place when I go reach, we be say we no sabi. No sabi when I say now for Nigeria I come from. This man reach UK. Now so he carry Bible, they preach up and down for street. No matter thing, you know. And no matter who say that they try for Nigeria, I always say nobody the question there. So preach, nobody go hook you. Say me, you know, preach the gospel of Christ. You understand? Even UK, UK is not even an Islamic country. You understand? UK is a, is a Christian country for God's sake. But this man was preaching. He was got. He, they got him arrested. You understand? They got him arrested. Why did they get him arrested? The reason why they get him arrested is not because he's preaching all around the street in UK. The reason why they got him arrested is because. He was shouting. It's because he was shouting. You know, there's not how, you know, it's part of the UK policy. Most of these European countries, it's part of their politics, policy, policy, I've been mean, nervous. <laughs> I don't to go to school. It's part of their policy that you should not make noise. If you want to make noise, you pay for noise. This man not get money where you won't pay for noise, boy. You can't they make noise for straight in the name of say they preach Christ. You know if you preach Christ silently, you know if you preach Christ silently, you can't go they preach Christ. They, they, they shout on top. I know some people go call police. Me when I come see this guy, they disturb our neighborhood. We don't know the kind of country where he come from. Why 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 did they do our country? Come with a shout for you. Now why they arrest me? Not because they say they preach the gospel of Christ. They only arrest people say the person they do evangelism. But now because of if they shout, now why they arrest them? They, they, call, they call the post them on social media and say they arrest them because they say they preach the story. I've been wondering, I don't see that name. If you like, may they release you, may you come go again, may you go to shout and talk people help you, may you go deport you, come Nigeria, come to suffer. No, you will not you will go to the suffer Nigeria for you. I've been no time to go straight to that news. Can don't finally bust out. Can Christian Association of Nigeria they don't finally boss us say for this 2023 election? No, we die here. <laughs> this is what like they are just these people are just doing the right thing that like, they are motivating us right now. Can send a message to all Christians all around Nigeria, telling them who to vote for in 2023 presidential election. You know they don't need to do something like this, but. APC, like the regime of Buhari, don't push everybody to the wall. Like, Khan is not taking it again. A lot of kidneys in the Christian dome, a lot of kidneys in the church, even the, all these bandits and Bukhari, they never find the respect church again in a church, you know, it happened for a massacre. You understand? Uh -huh. So, Khan can't say, message, give up Christian now, say, may all Christian, may them follow this protocol. Can make a description, but if I see my they describe and give an answer, I don't just have the describe test like that. No, that's not. So for you to see the video, where can talk and oh yeah, I'm gonna show them the video now. So Khan sent me to you, the Christian Association of Nigeria, 
and they said I should say this to you. And we're going to have it on our platforms and, and um, on our platforms. And um, I think I'm going to read it. And this one, because it is a message from Khan, I'm just going to read it and we'll put it on our platforms so that everybody will hear what can set for us to tell the body of Christ. 2023 general elections, who to vote for, produced by the Political and Strategy Committee of Christian Association of Nigeria. It is character, competence, capacity, and policies. Character, competence, capacity, and policies. So after we, of course, after praying, we should be able to direct you. Character. The person must fear God. Honesty and truthfulness. Respect for the rule of law. Justice and fairness for all. Respect for religious and ethnic diversity. Compassion and discipline. Clean and credible. Clean and credible lifestyle. No membership of cults. No involvement in drugs and witchcraft. No fanaticism. No relationship to Boko or with Boko Haram or other violent religious groups. This is the, this is the person we are voting for, the kind of person we are voting for. So this will be his character. Competence. Quality, quality performance in previous positions. Good education sufficient to manage a complex society. <laughs> Effective management of human and natural resources. Capacity. The person must have the ability to envision transformation. Ability to communicate the vision to diverse peoples. Ability to effectively execute the vision of transformation. Must be in good health, sound mind, and physical fitness for the job. <laughs> Policies. State police. Must have a, 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 a policy to police this country. To have policing, proper policing of this country. Religious neutrality of the Nigerian state. Enforcement of fundamental rights of all Nigerians. Restructuring to decentralize governance. Equitable and enforceable sharing of executive offices. So the offices must be given to all Nigeria, not a section or his or her section of the country. Hallelujah. E equal ethnic and religious representation in military and security agencies. Self-determination for all Nigerian people. No to Ruga, yes to ranching. Education and free health care to all Nigerians, including Almajiris. No open grazing rather modernization of animal husbandry local control of local economy including waters rivers and forests everybody should call to control what god put in their locality so this is it from Khan, and by the grace of god the god will give us this kind of leader and i must add you know i must add my own we will do what bishop abioye said that we are going to vote this time to defend our faith we will defend our faith we will defend our faith it is not for territory see like monica would always say that power is first about spiritual control before physical it's a control of see the whole of nigeria these people they don't care about governance they want to take control first they want to take author they want to take the country and then do it like they want but governance is for everyone. So this time around, anybody that has the inclination at all to continue what we have been going through, we are going to say no to that person. When I say, uh, no, 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 can't don't talk. They don't, like, that letter we say they sent to all churches now, they don't finalize everything. See, when I, like, they have made the pure description of a particular presidential candidate. I won't mention the name of anybody in this video. I know with the video that I just watched, you know the person that Khan is referring, that Khan is pointing their finger to for you to vote for. You know the right person. But I know that some of them pastor will still call them money at the end of the day. I see, now we they kill ourselves for this Christian though. Some of them pastor will still call them money at the end of the day. And if they don't call them money, they don't tell you say they call them money, they'll come, come on top of them, come they play on top of their mind. Like, soon I don't know what they do again. I don't see all these pastors. 
They call the blood up on my mind again. I saw some of them go, go the dance, they follow them like we dance, they dance basically, okay, they follow them up and down. Like, go, we, go, we, we just comment about watching for hospital. You know the right person to vote for. If this suffering with the, with the, with the going for it, they never tire you. You don't tire everybody. Vote for the right person. The person that will not, like, that will not allow the Christian dome to be terrorized. By bandit, cannot talk everything. Not why I want to talk about the matter again. Speaking of study program, going on there to get another thing for you. Ensure you share this video, drop a comment at the comment section of this video. Guess what? See my next video.